Okay, uh, welcome to this Z1 dashboard software uh, tutorial. We're going to talk about uh, button boxes and wheel buttons. Uh, so the Z1 dashboard has a lot of functions that you can operate through button presses. Uh, so I can have a button set up to scroll through the various dashboards I have selected for my car. Uh, I can have a button selected to turn telemetry on and off. And I can have buttons to uh, perform a lot of other functions, uh, such as uh, resetting a delta or changing a delta type. The Z1 dashboard software will display a message uh, alerting you to the function of a button for things which are less obvious. So, for example, if I change the uh, delta type, it will tell me uh, my current delta type. So now I've changed it to the iRacing Session Optimal app, and I can continue scrolling through them. Now I'm using the Z1 delta. So here I am in the uh, settings dialog. Up here, I have two tabs, one called buttons one and one called buttons two. This is where you define uh, which buttons you want to perform which task. So in buttons one, you have these 10 options. And in buttons two, you actually have 15 other options. Starting in buttons one, uh, First of all, you have to have buttons enabled. If they're not enabled, the software won't check for them, and no matter what you've assigned, nothing will happen. So make sure that buttons enabled is set to yes. Uh, the check device, by default, this is set to no, but if you have two identical button boxes, you would want to set this to yes, uh, and then it will differentiate between those two button boxes when it is looking for buttons. Uh, if it's set to no, then it just uh, it treats them uh, the same. In order to uh, set a button, all you have to do is uh, click this little S right here, and you get this pop-up, uh, and it's waiting for you to click on a button. So now I have it, and I'll try clicking a button on my device, and now it says button number two has been selected, and I click OK, uh, cancel that or clear that. So I'm going to click OK. And now here I can see that uh, the next button is now assigned to button two on my device. If I go to the buttons two dialog, uh, you can go directly to uh, any one of the 10 screens by choosing uh, a button, or uh, a POV uh, switch will work as well. This allows you to use a uh, rotary dial to go directly to your screens, making it very easy to switch between them. And then for iRacing, uh, they have a couple of iRacing specific options uh, with adding and removing fuel, putting fuel to the end of the race in, uh, clearing tires, and uh, fast repair uh, during your pit stop. All right, so if you go back to the buttons one box, there are a couple of options here on the right. Starting with the top one, message time. Uh, if the dashboard software is going to alert you to an action of a button uh, taken, then it will display that for this amount of time. So by default, it's two and a half seconds. Uh, if you want to have that message displayed longer, you can increase this or decrease this. And if you don't want to have the message displayed at all, set this to zero. Uh, the message position is where on the screen that message will be displayed. So 0% would be right at the top, 100% would be right at the bottom, 75%, uh, which is the default, is about three quarters of the way down the screen. Uh, the pause after and pause between settings allow you to customize the delay that happens after a button press uh, and also uh, in between uh, checks for button presses. Uh, so if you find that uh, certain buttons are being re repeated too quickly or that um, the, they're not being repeated quickly enough, you can adjust these settings uh, to suit your particular button box. And uh, there you have it. Once you click OK, your changes will take effect. Uh, the one exception is the buttons enabled. If you do change this to no or to yes, you will need to restart the dashboard software for that to take effect. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.